Daybreak and we're celebrating Western New York and the cherry blossoms that have bloomed at Buffalo's Japanese Garden in Delaware Park. Just in time or maybe a little bit early for the 11th annual festival. But that's where we find Daybreak's Kevin O'Neill, who's telling us a little bit more about this weekend's festival in a winter cap. Good morning, Kev. Yes, it is a winter hat morning but it'll be a t-shirt day here uh, and just another gorgeous day here uh, just uh, you know, behind the Buffalo History Museum. Uh, and this is a Buffalo Olmsted Park and with uh, the Olmsted Parks is uh, my new friend Z. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. First question, of course, do you think Bills will go wide receiver? I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a tough question. A, oh, okay. <laughs> let, let's, 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 how's everything looking? Everything looks fantastic. It's blooming. It is, yeah. and, and again, the, the different different varieties of trees, so, yep. they, so they blossom at different times. Exactly. So come by this weekend for the festival, and you'll be able to see different trees in bloom and at different stages. What can we do here? In the Japanese garden? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my gosh, you can do any, anything you do in a park that is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a free park. You mm -hmm. can come, take a stroll, walk your dog, mm -hmm. make sure you pick up after yourself, and yeah, don't, that's all. Don't <laughs> shake, don't shake the trees. Oh yeah. I absolutely agree. So There's help us care for these trees. So it's maintained by the Olmsted Parks Conservancy. Uh -huh. And the parks, we do our best and we take a lot of pride in our work. But park visitors can also play a role and make sure you don't shake the trees, don't pluck the flowers, mm -hmm. respect the trees, and the trees will be here for your, hopefully, the whole, your lifetime. <laughs> Happy birthday, Freddie-o. Yes, indeed. 202 uh, for a 202nd birthday, mm -hmm. or the anniversary of his birth, Federal mm -hmm. Olmsted. How lucky is Buffalo? Buffalo is so lucky. I mean, the, the Olmsted Park system is the first in this country, and Buffalo has it. Mm -hmm. you know, the whole parks, parkways, and circles, 850 acres. So the Conservancy is the steward and the nonprofit that maintains and care for this park system. Uh, the Cherry Blossom Festival is a two-day event. And yes, there's, besides walking around and admiring the trees, is there more stuff to do? Yes, it's a whole slew of lineup. There is uh, Music is Art has a cu curated a whole bunch of performances, mm -hmm. arts and culture performances throughout the weekend. And we have food trucks, we have the AKG art truck, mm -hmm. lots of table tabling vendors, and also learn about Japanese culture while you show the garden as well. Enjoy so, the lake. Yeah, absolutely. There's the Buffalo Maritime Center. Weather depending, of course, uh -huh. we'll have rowboats for free, donation based for uh, visitors to row the row mill, mirror lake as well. How yeah. cool. 11 years, and you can't beat the price. No, guess what? It's free. Yes! <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank happy you, Kevin. festival. Yes, uh, thank you. Two days. Yes, and the, happy birthday, Olmsted. Happy mm -hmm. birthday, Freddie. Gone too soon. Buffalo Cherry Blossom Festival.org is the website. And again, it's free. Awesome. Kevin, thanks for taking us there this morning. It is 640.